Hello YouTube land, welcome. My name is King Gamer 2, figure and stuff reviews. Who's? And today we're going to be hearing a figure that I've got since before Hurricane Orma is the my custom Transformers The Last Night Nitro Zeus and from the movie Emo. You know, let's take a look Whoop, at the box. Just so can kick my games. So here it is, here is his box. And as you can see here, it's not like the actual movie. Um, Nitro Zeus, this is actually the KSI bot, like, this is actually the KSI bot head, and this is not an actual Nitro Zeus, because he's supposed to have, like, missiles up here, and the shockwave head, because this is a concept art, but it still looks pretty cool, even though this is an Age of Extinction boat, sorry, here, I'm gonna go charge my iPad real quick. Second, guys, my iPad is at 10 bloody percent. Turn that on, and then there we go. So, hopefully, this should last. But well, as you can see here, this is a KSI boss, not boss, um, bot. But, um, yeah, it says Decepticon Nitro, even though this is, this is a wrong concept art. It's a concept art, but it's not the right one, so... On the back, we have the exact same artwork, and he is a lethal hunter. Then, on the back of the box, here we have... a Hey, look, new figure. I thought about Scorn. I do want to get him for my birthday. And as you can see here, here's the image of the figure, and it did have that original head. But my, I basically customized the figure. 35 steps, here's his jet mode, Hepcon Nitro, and basically no bio. So, and that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along here, we have, whoop, sorry, Decepticon Nitro, or in the movie, Nitro Zeus. So, as you can see here, this is my figure. I got him before the hurricane hit, Irma hit. As you can see here, I customized the figure. I added in some accents of red and white, and this is a custom head of me. I basically took my Shockwave's figure's head, painted it white, and basically screwed that on. And if you're wondering where these, where's the original head? Here's the original head that it came with. I don't really like this head. It doesn't really look, um as movie accurate as the um, other one, but there's the one yellow eye and you can kind of see it has some other four eyes. So here, let me go get my phone real quick because I don't have a flashlight. So just turn that on and if I... Oh, sorry guys. So if I, because you're wondering what this light piping is for, I'll show you why. When you shine it in, it basically, oops, sorry guys, did that blind your eyes? I'm trying to get it. Yes, look. He has four extra eyes. If you shine it into the light. So that's basically like a KSI bo a bot. I keep saying boss, I'm sorry. Um, but, and it basically has the four eyes and the one big yellow eye. That's basically what that light piping's for. It's for showing these four extra eyes, which you can't can't see. But, um, yeah, let me turn off the phone's flashlight. But, moving on to the figure. It's a very nice jet mode, uh, Nitro Zeus. I painted the missiles, I gave them accents of red, and the moon, and gave some silver sharpie effect. And the jet mode looks pretty cool. It's basically a robot under a jet. As you can see here, here's this, here's the head, here's the body, the legs, and there's the arm. And because these two are going to become arms, so yeah, figures are pretty cool. Nice big Decepticon symbol with accents of striped red. So let's get down to transformation. So I'm just going to fold up this landing gear. Transformation is very simple. Let's just remove these missiles first. 
very tough to get out because these penguin way super secure. So come on, there, there we go. So, but yeah, come on, come on, come on, get off. Thank you. And let's go ahead and oop. We're not supposed to untap yet. So the next thing what you want to do is start out with the wings. Unpeg them and fold them up. The instructions say to unpeg the wings and start making his um his big things and movie that he never used as weapons. His big termite things. What you want to do is fold these little wing bits in, like so. And basically you want to start out differently because the instructions stink. But anyway, we'll come out to the legs. It tab them nice and secure. Basically you want to untab them. Get the wing, get the tail things out of the way. Unpack the leg, and basically unpack the arm, and that time to send nice and secure. Rotate the leg down, and you basically want to rotate, fold the foot out, and do the same thing with this one. Untab, and that actually untabs easily. Rotate, fold the foot, and basically what you want to do is take the leg, fold it up, and this is going to become, this entire thing is going to come become his arm. I'm going to take this, and, whoop, hang on. First you want to unpeg the tail fin first, because uh, there's a tab or, there's a peg right here, and the peg right there tabs in, and makes me get this arm out of the way, like so. Turn the arm around, fold the hand out, and you have an arm, basically you want to take this arm, rotate it, rotate that up, and basically peg that in, like so, take the legs, fold that one back down, and basically there's a tab right here, let's go to tab in, you probably can't see, which you probably can't, but there is a big hole right, there's a big tab hole right here, and that's going to tag in, it's not nice, not super secure, but it does. Sorry about that guy, my mother leaving, I want to see her, for her friends. Um, so, may edit that out. But anyway, um, once you get those tab in, they don't tab in nice and secure, but they do get the job done. And, basically, the last thing to do is fold the tail in the down. There's a tab right here that's going to tab in to that peg right there, so... Tab that in, get these tail fins out of the way, and pull it up because you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Pull these shoulders down, and basically, I'm going to take the head, it's on another panel, and basically fold that head down. And be careful not to scratch the paint off, and fold down the chest section like so. Pull that down all the way. Here you have the head, and now let's get started on the turbines. So basically, it's a little hard, but there is a little technique that I learned from MGO360. So shout out to you too, so to you dude. And basically, the only way to do is want to fold this in and basically kind of lift this up a little bit, and then rotate this. It's a lot of People have been complaining about this, saying it's hard to do. But if you watch MGO360, watch his review, he found a way to do it, and he basically did that. It's real hard to do. So there's a, a tab right here that's going to tab in this. So basically, you want to rotate this and pegs in, and there you go. Here's one termite, and I'm going to put one of these missiles on. Boom, and start on the other one, rotate that, rotate 
that and lift and fold this in tap in that and oop hold on that went in there we go rotate that in and what are you looking at and put all the missiles on like so now I'm gonna get started in the arm and I'm gonna show you guys a actual movie arm so basically I'm gonna split the cockpit and split the nose cone open these out and basically you wanna if you wanna make it more like the cone thing like you did in the movie you can you can pop these out these slide off and probably I can't see oh I really wish I had a table I really wish I had a table and a chair so my room's freaking small so so yeah once you take this off you want to reattach it the other way to make it more like the cone like so and I learned this from Mr. Transformers 96 he did the custom of his Nitro Zeus Let me make sure I'm not scratching any of the pegs off hopefully not and we'll rotate that around and basically re-peg it and there you have the cone and make sure to get in stand and do -do -do -do. I'm just trying to get them and there you go here we have Nitro Zeus and his robot mode as you can see here this is my custom. I basically kind of, um, no, shout out to you, dude, Transformers 96. I basically kind of copied your original, um, custom design, which I like this original custom design and white paint. Yes, yeah, the white paint of mine, I kind of did a little sloppy, but oh well. I added a bits of silver sharpie to his fist right here and added some in here. And he also has his weapons and he gets to deploy. So, like, the crossbow, and, yeah, right here, and now he has a more movie-accurate crossbow. And he basically has his other gun that he kind of barely used in the last night movie. Sorry about that cut, guys, it just randomly cut. So, as I was saying, after that Okay, sorry, I had some video issues, this is why I really need... A bloody tripod to record. Oop. To do this, because I really wish I had a table and a chair in here, except I don't know where to put it. They might put it in that corner over there. If I can. And what are you looking up at? My true. And as you can see here, this is my custom figure. I basically kind of copy from Transformers 96. Um, his custom nitro Zeus. I added in bits of silver right here, right here. Added some red paint in. Added some white across his chest to blend in more of his head. Added in some white on his shoulder, probably um, both of his shoulders right here. And also, I've added in some bits of silver sharpie in there and painted the turbines black for the more movie accuracy of Nitro and yeah um, articulation is he has a hinge elbow in which he can't really bend as far arms can go almost all free almost 360 but I prefer not to legs can move forward about that much backwards not really as much because of the tail fin out pretty much all the way far but if you do that you basically untab the waist and he also has a bend at the knee, and this panel can fold back. And his head is on a ball joint. And if you're wondering, you guys, how did I tighten up the custom head? Well, I have you look in the back and look down here. I stuffed in some paper towels to tighten up that head, and it basically worked. And it's still a little loose, but it gets the job done. He can look 
pretty much all the way up and down pretty much that much look side to side and tilt side to side and hinge elbow is that and yeah this guy's articulation is pretty cool I mean and I don't have any last night figures well I do it's just I only had the Dinobots hopefully getting Megatron this Christmas the Voyager Megatron the leader, it's eh. I do like the mask gimmick, but I really wish they could have kind of figured out a way. Maybe they should have, like Hasbro would have used some of the Megatron face mask footage to somehow replicate like the face mask where he goes like this with his two horns, like he does. And yeah, for come now for a comparison. Here he is next to the Dark on the Moon Megatron that I have. I don't have any other Megatrons except that Megatron. And as you can see here, they're um, both the same size, just as Terramine's a little bigger. And let's go ahead and. Oh, how should I. Here, I'll just bring you one of my Dinobots. Here he is next to Grimlock. As you can see here, Grimlock's a lot taller than Nitro Zeus. And here he is with Deluxe Slash. As you can see here, he's taller than Slash because Slash is shorter. And yeah, that's pretty much all the figures. And sorry for all the jiggling. Sorry, me. So yeah, if you want to get a Nitro Zeus, but if you don't like, if you don't like this head, then ugh, get rid of it. But if you have an extra Shockwave figure, but if you don't buy a buy a second one to use a custom head, I basically mixed it with a little bit of white and gray to make it more like a doll white to make the figure blend and also I painted his feet a little bit and painted the sides of his legs and yeah I know he has like the the side tattoos like on his like on the shoulder somewhere right here but I do not know how to do that so I prefer to leave it as this custom figure so do I like this figure yeah sure I do it does have a few, I mean, it's a little, it's a lot fiddly to transform him. Like, it's a lot harder to do. It's just you gotta get all the stuff, all of his vehicle, all the robot parts out of here. But, but overall, this figure is pretty cool. And yes, I added in some silver detail on his cannon. And on the side of his legs and the inside of his legs as well. And on the back, the front of his legs, and on the back of him, and, yeah. But this figure is pretty cool, I mean, it does rec- I do recommend it, if you're trying to build, like, more of the Last Night Decepticons, but I'm not sure, because they are making Onslaught, Onslaught from the Last Night, which I'm not sure about getting Onslaught, which I have not heard any more Transformer releases, maybe they might make him or not. It's too bad we're not getting Mohawk, we're not getting um, Dreadbot. I mean, we may have gotten Berserker, but not Dreadbot, which is unfortunate because I don't know of any future company that makes Mohawk or Dreadbot from the last night, but hopefully they should. But, um, that has been the review for Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Custom Nitro Zeus. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe for more Transformer or NECA figure reviews. And I'm sorry about the lack of reviews lately. Just I've been really, really busy with schoolwork, and more schoolwork, family, and more traveling, and all this other stuff. Real life is hard, so yeah. See you guys later. And stop going off phone. So yeah, take care, keep collecting, and reviewing. I'll see you guys later. Peace.